start with something different. I'm guessing you've been asked about the new season and everything like that. Yeah. Sky, you're on the telly. Well, you've been on the telly before, so you know what it's like. Yeah. What, what do you do on a typical day when you're turning up on TV to talk about some band of rugby players playing? Other than like doubt myself a million times over that I can't really do it. Because <laughs> honestly, I, it's hard because I've actually dreaded that announcement coming out a little bit because look, uh, everyone's seen a lot of particular footballers comments and, and a little bit of the backlash and hate that's then driven through that and I, and I was well expecting some of the comments that, that would come and, and it was it's hard because look I, I love the game, I've played the game, I've took every opportunity I could that's been available in the women's space. No, I couldn't go up against some of these blokes and take 20 hits off them and carry on going, which some people think that's the marker as to whether you are then allowed to talk about it. Um, I couldn't do that now, but actually the opportunity to get women involved in the sport in different ways is, I do think is really important. I come at it from a different angle. Yes, I've not been through the Academy of Scholarships that the lads have, um, but I've had a different path and therefore different views on certain things which might relate to certain people at home and actually you do want young girls at home not to just go, I can go and play the sport, actually I can go and be part of the media, I can go and be part of broadcast and my point is valid and my place in this sport is valid so yeah I think it's, it was a really apprehensive time for me because we all have self-doubt and we all worry about certain things but also really excited and really honoured to be asked to do it and um, I think Courtney's outstanding, I love listening to Courtney as a player, she was really intelligent I think Courtney will be absolutely brilliant and hopefully I can add some value to that Sky team. It's not the fear when you open your mouth that you're going to say something stupid because I've had that for 20 odd years, it never goes. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the fear that you're going to say something stupid, the fear that oh, the, all these people know what they're talking about and you doubt yourself because they're so brilliant and the, you know they've, they've been doing it for years and, the, and they're experts in it and you know it is very new so when you talk about you know what is it like on the day you know it is really nerve-wracking and it's trying to see where I fit and if you have an idea are you confident enough to put it forward um, often really daunted by the experience but really enjoy it and the team have always been brilliant in terms of bringing me in and, and making me feel comfortable and part of the team so when I got asked like I did I doubted it for a second but that was more my own my own doubts about myself but I'm sure it'll be an opportunity for me that it'll be really good going forward and hopefully I can I can add my own little bit of a spin to the Sky team. I mean, it's really sad that you have to say that you're dreading the announcement coming out because it is in, a, in essence it's a positive news story for you but you're dreading reaction from I mean I'll call them morons and idiots because that's what they are but it, it's sad that that is still a thing you have to worry about. Yeah I know and it's hard because the people who are around you will tell you that's silly don't be daft ignore those comments but it's easier said than done do you know what I mean you can have nine nice comments and one not very nice comment and that one not nice one will stick with you um, so yeah look it, it was one of those things a little bit of apprehension around it I'm sure I'll have, I'll have still nerves and excitement around any of the games that I do cover um, but it's a brilliant opportunity and look really grateful to be asked because I'm just a really keen fan who absolutely loves this sport and then as I had the luck and opportunity as I've been playing where things have fell right and I've managed to play with the Super League I've you know been trusted to be captain of teams and I'm just so grateful and I'm still learning and I'm still grasping every opportunity but I love this sport and hopefully one thing I can bring is passion for it because yeah, I genuinely do believe it's the best sport in the world and it's, there's so many parts of it that are untapped still. Um, but I actually feel a bit of excitement and momentum about the sport at the minute. It feels like we are starting to make a few strides. Is it feeling weird? Is it feeling weird to me that every, everything that does people seem... people are positive. Yeah, I know. It's, it's strange, yeah. isn't it? It is strange. I think one thing you can always rely on with Rugby League is that we manage to find negatives in most things. Um, but I think there's been a consecutive flow over the last few weeks and months of positive news stories, positive steps for the sport, you know, all the coverage that they're going to get across the various different broadcast channels. The fact that everyone can access every game, I think, is a massive positive. And all the various announcements, you know, you've got the, even the branding. I just think it looks clean, it looks smooth. The purple, the purple, purple for the women. I think we've got the best colour, maybe I'm a little bit biased. Uh, but all of it, I just think, looks positive. 
the reaction has been fairly unanimously positive and it feels like we've got some momentum going into the season and actually having the wheelchair the men's and the women's now under that one brand being looked after together means that you have always got a consecutive flow of new things coming out as well so the men's will start and then you'll have the women's and then you'll have the wheelchair and you'll have all the news excitement ups and downs of those seasons that sort of slot in between so it means that we're never going to be bored so the pressure's on you now not on the telly but on the pitch to make it a good competition as well Oh, 100%. Look, my, my job fully is to make sure that I'm the best I can be for Saints. Um, you know, I, I give my all to that team and that's, you know, one focus of mine that, that will never waver. You know, I like to think that I can always be relied upon to give my, my all for the team and I want to do that again this year. And Saints, we've got such an exciting squad. We've got some young players um, that might be lesser known or less experienced, but I think are going to really shine in the Women's Super League this year so it's an exciting time and everyone's talking about York which is great for us you know they've probably got the pressure on them as maybe being favourites this year but you know, we know that we can push York and, and hopefully go and win a trophy and Leeds you definitely can't write off they're always up there no matter what it doesn't matter what obstacles get thrown their way they will find their way into finals so we're excited, we know the strength we've got and I think Matty Smith's in a, in a really good place now as well he's had a year with us, now he's really shaping us into his team and he can get the, ball, mess, the best out of us now for this season Was it hard after winning at Wembley to I don't know, maintain the momentum going into the rest of the season? Because it is a, a massive high obviously making history for the first time. Yeah, it probably it probably was, like, you know, we didn't think it at the time and I think it, it's hard to realise it at the time when you do have those like dips but I think, not physically, like physically I, I think the squad held up quite well it was more sort of mentally and emotionally you put so much on it and you and you, like myself included I put so much pressure on the semi-final and the final and it was all we spoke about and it was intense training was intense you've got to be here we need a big push for four or five weeks we've got to make sure we're ready you know no regrets when we walk off that field you, people can only maintain that level of intensity for so long there's always naturally going to be a slope off um, so we probably did have a little bit of a slope after Wembley and look if if you'd have offered me what we had at the start of the season, I'd have snapped your hand off. But it was upsetting because I do think we could have got to a final and we could have won it, but it didn't happen. Now we can correct it this year. I'm being bashed. Final question. Rob Burrow Award for the Men's Grand Final. The Women's Grand Final, Women's Challenge Grand Final, Player of the Match Awards don't have a name attached. Who? who? Oh, that's a hard one. You know what's hard is there's so many incredible women that have like come and gone and... There's so many that are still involved in the game in some ways. You know, the names people would know, like Lois Vassell, you know, what she's done in the game, I think is incredible. But while she's head coach of Leeds, you probably maybe can't do that. You know, you've got the likes of Natalie Harrowell that, you know, unfortunately passed and she, you know, just made her way into the England squad. She was playing at Feverston Rovers, who were right near the top at that time. You know, she's she's a name that, that maybe people might not know as, as well, but, you know, someone who, who I, you know, I, I feel real sadness for when I think about her and it'd be nice for her to be recognised. Um, Andrea Dobson for me was always just incredible and is someone that I think doesn't get the recognition she deserves for how incredible she was for a long consistent time and brilliant captain for England um, there's so many names you could throw around this Lindsay obviously Lindsay what she's doing at York but again it'd be hard for her to name the trophy and one of her team be lifting it that year so we'll see yeah, what, did you call them up name them all after you in that that all oh yeah I'll have one <laughs> no I don't, I don't see that happening but um yeah, may, maybe in a few years, like once some of these girls have retired, I'm sure there'll be a name that gets thrown on that trophy.